not for securing prey or for defending against a threatening predator, but for purely social reasons. Of all weapons that are used in the fight for sexual superiority, it is an animal's horns which feature most often. The weapon of speed, however, is used for another fundamental cause, securing the next meal. Creatures that use speed as a weapon, the peregrine falcon is the supreme master. Able to reach speeds of more than 150 kilometers per hour, it is the fastest creature on earth. And these high speed records are a result of its body design. The peregrine falcon is one kilogram of solid muscle. And when making a high speed dive, it transforms itself into an aerodynamically perfect teardrop shape. And it's this ability to make a sudden and powerful attack that makes it one of the most feared hunters of the skies. This king of the air displays one of nature's most magnificent designs. It has the precision flying capability of a stealth bomber the acceleration potential of a jet fighter and its own pair of remote sensing devices, its eyes. It is a living missile. Speed and precision enable a rapid descent on its target, but not without risk. Trees are a dangerous obstacle for this high-speed hunter. An accident would be fatal. For its prey, the cover provides the only safe refuge. To increase its chances of success, the peregrine hunts in open areas, ideally farmlands where native birds have become outnumbered by introduced species like the pigeon. In fact, pigeons have become its most important prey the world over. Pigeons are not easy pickings. They too are swift on the wing. In level flight, a pigeon can outrace a peregrine. But the peregrine's competitive advantage is the use of gravity. Making a vertical ascent is energy consuming, but the peregrine has stamina as well as strength. It's from up here, a mile in the sky, that the peregrine's weapon is able to reach its full potential. With a meal in its sight, the peregrine transforms from a surveillance glider into a plummeting missile. By tucking its wings against its body, the peregrine minimizes air resistance and drops out of the sky in staggering style. At the final moment before impact, the falcon levels out and strikes talons first. So great is the impact that the peregrine too would be injured were it not for the extraordinary accuracy of its strike. Despite their formidable speed and hunting prowess, only one in every ten attacks results in a meal. It's an energy equation that every fast-moving creature must contend with, in whichever environment they live. Like all animals, predators that use speed as a weapon have a less than impeccable success rate. So to increase your chances of success, you have to combine speed with other weapons of attack. The stonefish doesn't look fast. It is one of the least streamlined of all fish. 
In fact, it rarely swims at all. A sleek body has been substituted by one corrugated and encrusted with algae. Disguised as a rock in the rubble of the ocean floor, it uses camouflage as its preliminary weapon. When suitable prey is within striking distance, it puts its conserved energy into one startling burst of speed. Within one twenty-fifth of a second, its jaws lurch like a steel trap, engulfing its prey. But not every time. While not every strike is on target, the energy lost is less than that expended in a high-speed chase. are among the most diverse and crowded of all ecosystems. It's here that you find an extraordinary array of weapons, each designed to compete successfully for a common food source and for highly sought after available space. These coral reef shallows on the Great Barrier Reef are home to a killer that strikes with remarkable speed. Distantly related to the prawns and crabs, there are more than 400 species found the world over. With eyes more sophisticated than our own and with a claw modified to become a high-speed hammer, it is the remarkable stomatopod or mantis shrimp. They are exceptional hunters, with forelimbs developed into highly specialised weapons to smash or spear their victims. While this spearer may have one of the sharpest claws in the ocean, it is its relative, the smasher, which can lay claim to the fastest claw on the reef. This action has been slowed down 125 times so that it can be seen. The smasher's claws function as high-speed hammers, cracking tough crab shells, opening up a food source that would otherwise be inaccessible. They live in natural crevices within the coral, from where they can see all. Each eye contains up to 10,000 separate lenses and perceives three images. Together, they see the world from six different perspectives, allowing them to pinpoint a moving target with military precision. But without a cavity, a stomatopod has little chance of survival. And so owners fiercely defend their hideouts against intruders. Despite this fierce competition, they modify their deadly blows to be merely deterrents and not fatal to their own kind. However, for securing prey, the stomatopod's weapon is used to its full potential. The smasher quickly sizes up its target and strikes with blinding speed. In less than 8 milliseconds, with a velocity of more than 1,000 centimetres per second, this creature's weapon packs a punch close to that of a small calibre bullet, making it one of the fastest movements known in the animal kingdom. It is in Africa that we find the world's most spectacular collection of animals and their weapons. The grandest, the tallest, and in the case of the cheetah, the fastest on land. 
Everything about the cheetah is designed for the high-speed chase. Its lean and supple body and its enlarged nostrils for extra air intake. And its claws, unlike all the other cats, are non-retractable and act like a sprinter's spikes when it's at high speed. It also has an additional pad on its upper forelimb and this is used to knock the prey off balance when it's on the chase. And it's these and a host of other features that enable the cheetah to lay claim to the fastest animal on land. But speed is a weapon that comes at a price. In becoming a speed specialist, the cheetah has sacrificed the weight and power of the other big cats. Here in Africa's Masai Mara, cheetah are among the most vulnerable animals on the plain. Cheetah are the lightweights of their league. They are only one third the weight of a lion and easily overwhelmed by these super predators. Lions will kill cheetah whenever possible. Speed is their only weapon of attack and defense. They almost always flee when threatened. are not even able to defend their young. This mother has concealed her cubs in a lair. But even there, they're not safe from the birds of prey. Despite these dangers, she needs to hunt. But hunting too is fraught with difficulty. At top speed, a cheetah's body temperature soars to 41 degrees Celsius. To sustain this temperature for over a minute or two would be fatal. Its valuable weapon has to be reserved for a short burst and where there is a high chance of success. Here in the open savanna, her main prey is the Thompson's gazelle the swiftest of all antelope. They are plentiful, but also wary. She must creep within 100 meters of her target if a pursuit is to be successful. It may take hours. 